right out of the gates against their old coach. Of course, none of them is around when Dick Reveal coach him. They're coached by Andy Reid now. Remember the opening play of the season last year when David Greenacres had an onside kick and Demian Douglas recovered it for Philly? Well, sense of urgency here, I guess so, because in the opening play of this game, eight is your onside kick. Douglas recovers it again at the 40. Did it go 10 yards? Talk about patience on this play. Yeah, a lot of patience, but look at the field judge down here. He's at the 41 and a half. It's where the ball is, not the player's feet. That's not 10 yards, but guess what? He's got away with the Philadelphia ball, Boomer. He got the feet for 10, made it look that way. Donovan McNabb to Tony Stewart, and he appears to fumble. Ruled down by contact, not a reviewable play. Replay shows that maybe it should have been a complete ball hit the ground. Field goal on the drive, 3 0 Philly. Second quarter, Glenn Cadre is going to come through to Brock. Watch this punt by Sean Personal Landetta. Eric Warfield drops it, and William Hampton recovers for the Eagles. So here the Chiefs make a big play, and they get penalized for it. Got to catch the football. McNabb, the little screen to do Staley. He's got a wall set up for him, and then Deuce does the rest. Breaks a tackle by Donnie Edwards, and he cut. Go all the way. Deuce was an ace. 10-0 Philly, 46-yard touchdown. Got 24 seconds left in the half of the score. 13-0 Trent Green looking for Tony Gonzalez. That's, we talked about him in the pregame. Brian Dawkins, no free safety, playing better football this year. No question about it. And I'll tell you what, Trent Green could have helped. He held the ball too long. Get it out of your hand earlier. Gave Dawkins, who's a good football player, a chance to react. Saves a touchdown. That's been the story for the Chiefs all year, Boomer. So now 13-3 third, Sean McNabb to James Thrash in the end zone pass interference on Ray Crockett. And then McNabb rolling right to place later for Stewart. It's Stewart with a touchdown. And the Eagles lead it 20 to 3. Suing kickoff. Dante Hall. Going to cut right and going to have some running room. Now, I got to give the kicker, David Greenacres, the knock. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da. <laughs> knock out of bounds. Good chores. And so the uh, Chiefs then move it down with Green to Derek Alexander. Fancy footwork there, Sean. Yeah, the nice footwork. Get it down. They need more of that. Too little, too late, though, Boomer. But they got to have more of that in order to get themselves back into it. And not enough of it. 20 to 10. The Nakers field goal 23 to 10. Green, the screen to Priest Holmes. Boy, is he a good football player. Corey Simon forces a fumble. And Bobby Taylor is Johnny on the spot for Philadelphia. Holmes ran hard all night. That fumble though pretty much shielded. 3.40 to go. Screen to Holmes. We said running hard all night. I think so. Look at that. So way down, but he's still running. He's uh, you know, went into the game the third leading rusher in the AFC. He epitomizes what you're supposed to do as a football player. And then Green intercepted in the end zone by uh, Al Harris. 17 picks for Green, although that one, you know, you're just trying to make something happen. Right. Touchdown. And 17 picks, too much. The Chiefs call the three and eight in Philadelphia. As we stand, of course, going into Sunday night with a game and a half lead in the NFC East. They're seven to four as they win it. 23-10 and five and zero on the road. Chiefs one and five.